Okay, so in this video we're going to do an oil filter on a Toyota Coaster HBZ50 and um, I'm just putting on my black gloves. These are much better than um, the other ones, so if you're going to be working on a car, get the black ones there. They're worth the extra. I'm going to be using a 12mm uh, spanner, oil filter remover, a container. This one here goes up to 18 litres. You should be pulling out... Uh, believe it is uh, about 10 litres so we should be plenty of extra room. Our filter here Ryko Z334 and uh, let's get started. I'll take a half. There's a 12. I believe it's a 12. Could be wrong. There we go. Half and a 12. We'll see which one it is. Got my rags. Um, if uh, got to undo the from the top so the oil flows, so let's do that now. We won't do the oil filter just yet. We got tools there. Okay, normally you can just do it with your hand, but for some reason my one is on so tight. So your oil filter is located down here. It's upside down, and we can do that from the top. Your oil cap is here. I get this off of this? Not really. Can I? Might need two hands. I'll come into it from this. Ah, there we go. So I'm going to take this off so it flows from the top. There's my cap there. Okay, so we've done the top bit. Time to get under and do the do the bottom bit. Okay, 14 is good for me. Okay, so we're going tight, so it is loosening this way. And of course, it's rock solid. Okay, it doesn't want to be persuaded. Okay, let's, let's get a persuader then. There's one right there. Soft hammer, that will work. So, let's make sure we're going the right way. If we do it up, I'll be going clockwise. We definitely want to be going anti-clockwise. Before the oil comes out, I'm just going to crack it. And then I'll do it by hand as the oil comes out, the messy bit. Okay. Now it's loosening. Now this should be done every five to ten thousand K. Most people do it five thousand if they like a car. Or you can do it ten thousand if it's a work car. Okay now it's gonna get messy. Let's see if we can do this nicely. and she's flowing. So we're going to be getting about 10 litres out of this. It's on level ground. Here's our plug here. We'll be cleaning that up and we're using that. So of course you can get oil everywhere. This will take a little while. Okay so I've uh, let the oil drain out. It's draining as we speak and now we're going to do the filter. So here's our Ryko filter Z334. Here's our filter down here. I'm trying my luck. Try and do it with my hand. No good. So on, off, anti-clockwise. So we're going to put this tool over the top of it. Should fit. Let's go to the bigger size. get it over the top of it. It is, it is a big filter. There we go. So it's just enough to grab just as to start to get it to move. Now this filter is upside down so I'm going to try and do it without. There is about a litre of oil in this thing. 
there we go. I managed to save most of it, I'll have to give it a degrees afterwards. There's our filter, Repco filter, Z334, so that's okay. I'll do this as neatly as possible. So visual inspection, does it have all the same flutes and stuff? It does. Some oil on the thread, some oil on the rubber. Make it easier to kick it off next time. Here's a rag. So the filter goes in this way, so let's get that on. Rotating it round clockwise. So after we've done this, we're going to give it a quick degrees and then we're going to let it run for a bit and check there's no leaks. So pretty much hand tight as tight as you can. Ugh. I'm happy that's on. Hand tight as tight as you can. So no tools, but you try and use your hand. I'm right handed, so I might just check once more. Yep. Ugh. It's on. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this oily thing as soon as we can, as cleanly as we can. Has leaked a little bit of oil there, you can see. We'll get that with the degrees. Okay, oil, ah, oil filters in. Let's go to the next step. O-ring, if you can see it. I like 14 bucks from Repco. So I bought one. Repco sub chip. They have a little green O-ring there, so it helps actually seal it even better. That looks pretty good. Let's get back. Just feeling the thread, making sure I'm getting it in there, tightening it up clockwise. Finger tight as much as I can. Still going finger tight as much as I can. Okay, finger tight. Okay, I'll just give that a bit of a. Won't do the bottom of the sump much, much, uh, much damage. Take the fact it's good for if you look at that sump, how, uh, how badly discoloured it is. Shopping! 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 Alright, I'll be there in a minute. Okay, so I'm just tightening it up. I'll be there in a minute. So we tighten it up. Shifter on. Not too tight, but tight enough to seal it so it's not going to come loose. Okay, I'm happy with that. Okay, so we're taking the oil out. So let's put the oil back in. We've got our oil funnel. Super diesel, 15 to 40, 10 litres. That should be okay. Let's have a look at how many litres we actually did get out of it. That's probably a good idea. Let's have a look. Oh, it's right under there. Can I pull my mat? Okay, looking at that, there's an indication on the side there, so it's bang on, I think, about 9.7 litres, so that's 10 litres. We've got 10 litres, we'll be alright. Let's get all the oil out of this one so I can put the old oil into this one. Okay, so these normally separate. There we go. Got the filter in there. where I want it to be. I want to do this as cleanly as possible. I normally have a, a brake thing here. There we 
go. So, I'm going to try my luck and try and just pour it in this way. Actually, you know what? Let's go for this part. It's going to be slow, but it's better than messy. Yeah, that's in there nicely. Let's get rid of that plastic thing. Oop, flick that away. It's in the hole, yes. No, don't spill. No, I'm going to focus. I need to get that absolutely news. I'll put that on the screen as well. Put it nice down. It's going to be the wall. It's going to be the wall. Speed up process. It's better. Okay, so we've let the engine uh, engine sit for a while. We've filled it up. Clean dipstick. There are the two little marks down there. We probably want it closer to the top one. So it looks like it could still use another litre or two. Looks like there's still a little bit of the old oil kicking around there too. But that's okay. Not too bad. Okay, let's top her up even more.